In this video, I'm going to try to build some wearable accessories out of Lego. Let's do this. These are my brother's glasses. I don't think he should need them, but I'm gonna try to replicate them out of Lego. I start by grabbing some black parts, snap some pieces together, and I build some frames. I build these two sticks. Look, I can make it disappear. And I connect them to the base. I add some clear pieces in the front, and we got Lego glasses. These glasses are actually pretty accurate. Ethan, where's my glasses? I think we can do better. Buttload of white parts. I build frames in white. I can't forget these thingy bobbies. I grab some trans clear parts. I grab some blue and some red. They work great for colored lenses. And now I have Lego 3D glasses so I can watch my favorite movie, Spy Kids 3D. So these are some really cool parts. And if you connect them together and add some extensions, they make for some very cool Harry Potter glasses. Expecto Patronum. You can also add some eyelashes and this big nose in the front. And now we have rat glasses. Cheese. So let's move from Lego glasses to stashes. So I first grab my bar pieces. I find this long flex tube and it gives me an idea. I grab some black parts, stack them together to build this shape. I grab some slopes to smooth it out and I attach it to the flex tube. And we got a mustache on a stick. <laughs> Uh-oh. Every time I use this, I feel like I have to use a special voice. Like, it would be superb if you would like and subscribe. Let's build another mustache variant. I grab another flex tube. These rounded plates wiggle 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 you can connect them together and make your own customizable mustache so i got 200 lego string pieces don't ask how i got them but how cool would it be to make a full beard so i first grab these ball and socket joints i snap them together i use some plates for stability and i build a structure that should go over my face like this but i gotta find a way to connect it so it don't fall that's where these little thingy bobbies come in they should just wrap over my ears and boom we got a beard skeleton next i grab my string parts this is kind of a tangled mess and i start placing them down now that we got all the lego string on let's see if it fits yo it fits y'all there's a part of me that wants to wear this out in public i'm in absolute love with this thing but let's see what other accessories we can build out of lego so you know those people that use illegal lego building techniques well the lego police need to find a way to hold them back i first grab these gray macaroni parts and i connect them together using these small axles after i have a ton of these loops i then can link them together until i have this long chain i'm definitely going to be using this technique in other Built. Next, I build this little attachment as well as a bunch of these little guys and I connect them all together and I use these curved tiles to cover this gap and I build this circular object. I then build another one, attach them on both sides of the chain and we got Lego handcuffs. Get me out of here. I'm sorry, officer. I won't do it again. But let's build something a little bit more Texas. I start by grabbing some wedge plates and some bricks and I stack them together. I then attach some studs all the way around to build this little mini Texas. And I add a clip to the back and boom, I can represent Texas wherever I go. So this is my bow tie. I've worn it out in public a total of zero times. But let's build one out of Lego. So I first grab my wedge plates. I snap them together and I create this tie-like foundation. I then add this little clip in the back. It should just clip on like this and boom I am very dapper right now just look at this my mom would definitely call me handsome I can also use some very similar techniques and build a Lego tie let's see if it fits voila we got a Lego tie and it actually stays on pretty well too one thing that's fun to do is to get a chain and build some Lego pendants for a necklace. Let's build a few. So this piece is awesome because it can fit perfectly inside of a necklace. Not only can I attach any piece I want to it, but I can actually build whatever I want off of it. Like this little cross pendant. I actually built this exact necklace when I was like eight years old. So long ago that I actually glued it together. So this is a Lego ring, but it's made for a minifigure and it doesn't fit my finger. Is it possible to build an actual Lego ring? So first I tried grabbing a chain but it only wraps around my pinky so then i grab my rubber band parts and this big yellow one actually works great for any finger and i actually have them in a lot of colors but wrapping rubber bands around your fingers is not good for your circulation next i grab my tread parts attach them together and this works for a nice big ring you can also add attachments through these little holes like flowers did you know that lego actually makes wearable clothing this blue jacket is actually from the lego target collection and these shoes are made by lego and adidas and look at this i got a green 
Jane Ninjago mask that was from Toys R Us. Now let's build some accessories I can put on the top of my head. So the idea at first is to create a U-like structure that can stretch over my head. So I first grab these Technic parts, I find a few of these black parts, and I use these axles to connect them together. And it should just fit over my head like this. And now this gives us a structure to build off of. So I first grab this little snot brick, I add some slopes all the way around it, as well as a Technic pin poking behind it. I grab a buttload of coral, place some parts right in the front, and I build another one exactly like it, and attach one on each side, and I made Lego cat ears I can put on my head and pretend like I'm a cat. Let's see what else we can do with this design. So these are giant Lego eyeballs. They're the exact same as these one by ones, except like a hundred times bigger. They were available at Target and I believe they were made to put on a snowman. And looking at the back, I don't know how I'm going to connect them, but let's try. As you can see, four by four plates are too small and six by six plates are just too big. To get the connection that I need, my mind instantly goes to tires because they're very flexible. I should just be able to slide it right in there. And voila, we have a connection. I then build these three sets Sections, attach them to the headband and we got this alien headband with three giant eyes on it What's up? Next I grab this section I grab my hollow studs and I place them all the way around I grab some gold parts like these swirls I place them on top until I have this crown like structure I build this ruby and I place it in the front and we got this Lego tiara This should be a one size fit all and it actually fits pretty well, but we've made a tiara now Let's build a crown so first I grab my click hinges and I build this circle the size of my head next I grab some gold plating I attach them to the outside of the ring. I build this triangle, attach it to the front. I build more triangles, place them all the way around. Look at that, we have a Lego crown. And now you may call me King Ethan, kneel before me. Now let's build something a little bit more old timey. So first I need to measure my head size because I'm building with bricks and they're not too flexible. I grab a ton of black two x four bricks. There are 500 two x fours in this bag. And I stack them together until I have a giant ring like this. And you can see it's actually the size of my head. I then do more stacking, build several more rings, and then I get distracted and build a ton of Lego Minecraft animals. Next, I stack the rings on top of each other, and then I build this little roof and attach it to the top. I then add this red ring around it, and I use plates to create this brim. And since bricks are very uncomfortable to the head, I try to cushion it with some slopes. Good day, my lads. And we got this giant Lego top hat. For this thing being really big and heavy, it's actually quite comfortable. But I am starting to feel it a little. But let's build a hat that's a little bit more colorful. So I first grab my white parts, I pick out these little wedge pieces, put them together, and I create this little star. Next, I grab my blue parts, connect them together, and I build this giant blue ring. I grab some white parts, and I build these little rounded structures that go on each corner. Then I grab my red parts, build these four walls, and put them on each side. This literally feels like I'm making a cake. I then build this circular blue plate, and I attach it to the top. Next, I build these thingy-bobbies, and they work perfectly for a brim. I then add the star from earlier to the front, and we got this American styled hat. Not gonna lie, this one hurts a little, but I can handle it. Oh, I want you. Now let's combine some of the accessories we've made. I grab my 3D glasses, my crown, and the giant Lego beard, and boom, I am like the coolest king ever. We got a big beard, 3D glasses, and of course a crown. Next, I grab my bow tie, the mustache on a stick, the Harry Potter glasses, and the giant top hat. And now we got Lego glasses with a mustache on a stick with a big giant top hat. I don't know what I'm supposed to say in this outfit. I feel like I should eat some turkey. Well, that is going to do it, folks. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to be awesome and have a great and wonderful day. Bye-bye.